Hey, I know it's been a while, but let's animate. Okay, so as I told you in the previous channel updates, the next few videos will probably have something to do with creating assets for a game because drawing and all that stuff ties into it. Well, in this episode, I'm going to be working on a idol, an idol for the player for the game I'm working on. And this will be a two part video. And the second part will show you how to bring it into Unity. And then it'll show you actually what it will look like after it's all done. But you know how it is with these less anime videos. They're more like an hour long chill video. So if you can stay the whole time, hang out with me, that would be great. But if you can't, I'll um, chop this up into pieces so you can see each part that I was working on and I'll upload probably a speed paint video. Don't forget to comment below to let me know your thoughts on these less anime videos because they're pretty long. So let's get straight into it. So as you can see right here, I have this um, slight um, sketched out idle um, animation. And let me play it real quick so you can see what's going on. Let's play that back. So you see, it's just a three um, sketch um, animation. And I want to be completely transparent. You know that less animate is more of like a chill, laid back episode. So this may take a while. But when it comes down to how I came up with this, like I said, I want to be completely transparent. This was not drawn off the top of my head. This was drawn as by using a reference. And this reference is from, uh, I think it's King of Fighters. So check this King of Fighter right here, right? So it came from that. And what I did was I just made a skeleton out of it. As you can see right here. And then I sketched over the skeleton. Drop my head in. And that's how we got to where we are. So let's flesh it out right now and um, give it a little bit more weight and make it look more like this right here. So first thing first, let's get rid of the timeline and let's move in. Okay, so let's create a new layer. And let's start going over the top. I am starting off with the last frame because what I did was I grabbed these little hands and you can use um, a tool to set up like some hands for you. Make sure, yeah, that's it. To set up some hands for you. And what I'm gonna do is come over here since the hands are the hardest thing for me, I'm going to zoom in and start working on these hands first. So, we're just going to get a general feel for the how the fist should be. Let me know if you want to know the tool. I've given it out before. Maybe I'll even put it in the description, the name of it. Sorry, I had to make some adjustments real quick. That's the one thing I do not like about doing these things uh, in real time is when I have to make adjustments because I'm never fully ready. I just go on and then things happen. All right. Let's go back, let's make, let's separate these two actually. One should be bigger, and one should be smaller. Alright. Make that a little bit bigger. Right around there should do it. Get that. Yeah, let's bring that down. So there we go. Hmm make this one a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that works. That works. Boom, boom. So now, let's flesh it out a little bit more, as I said before. Take my eraser. And don't worry about it looking perfect. We just sketch and sketch and sketch. And we'll probably do this, do about four sketches or at least three. And we won't do it all in this video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it to a decent look. And then um, there'll be the second part of the video where we'll bring it into Unity for the game and then see what it looks like. And then before I settle on what I want it to look like, we'll do that a couple of times and then boom, we'll go, okay, we can finish this now. Shoulder, oops. One, two. Shoulders look a little bit too, too sharp. better. I cannot understand why this pen to, tends to do this. Right now, my eraser not working. So I have to go and manually select the eraser, which is a pain in the butt. Okay. bit deeper into there.
go back in here and touch this up a little bit better. I did not like the way that looked. Okay, a little bit better till we get more in to the final one. Zoom out a little bit more. Yuck, still kind of hate it. There. I have to do something weird like that. That'd be alright for now. Let's get this and then I'll come back to it. Do something a little bit more soothing. Let's get this hoodie. Kind of close off this part of the neck a little bit. You know what? I'm not looking at this. Let's double check. So I kind of want them to match up. No, it's the same character, wearing the same clothes. shirt on I guess and I would say this head is just not sitting right it's not sitting right on the body and though I kind of like it it's too thick so let's make it a little bit Make it a little bit thinner. Which goes back to why I'm like, this is not going to be the final. Gotta sketch it out a few times. And I can always make corrections over the top. Stupid eraser.
I want to bring this up actually. Hmm. Can I put that in the viewfinder? Nah, I forget. Actually, here we go. And. Hmm. No, nope. can't see it, but I can also go back to it. Alright, I'll do it that way. I just need to make sure I stick to my reference. As close as possible before we get to the final. And that helps me understand what I'm what my results is gonna come out to be. Okay, do some get rid of some of that neckline. See what it actually looks like. makes me look at them shoulders like hold on do 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 Okay, that looks a lot better. Back up a little bit, and let's get back to working on this jacket. Still need a lot of adjustments to do. Let's bring out back a little bit more. Especially over here behind him, or he has no butt. Sorry about that, but he has to have a gluteus, okay? Doesn't have a gluteus. Character looks kind of weird. I thought about doing pixel art a while back for the game. But, I don't know. Just not something I really want to do. Let's go ahead and do the little outline for the hoodie. Do the work. Just do the work. Alright. Let's bring it down some. Seems like this sketch is a little bit too high. Bring it down to here. And adjust.
right? What is next? Get down to these pants real quick. More like, uh, more like jogging pants. Or joggers. Don't they call them joggers now? You gotta forgive me. Sometimes I can't help but putting put some details on there that I really shouldn't be doing yet. Always flipping the canvas. Why? So I can draw at the best angle possible for my hands. That's why and you should do the same. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I think I like it better. Uh, a little neat indicator here. Right here. Creating this character, the shoes with you. Oh, deciding on some decent shoes. One of the hardest things possible. So I hope nobody ever looks at the character's shoes and just pays attention to the character's actions and moves when it comes to the game. It was very annoying.
going to each other? Both going to this. I haven't even put no socks on them. I won't right now. No socks right now. Maybe we got ankle socks, guys. Okay, I kind of feel like this one is cool, this leg is doing all right, and I think the other one is too small at the thigh level, which makes the calf muscle look a little bit off. So, let's zoom in here. Oh no. Get that out of the way. All right. You know what? Let's make it hang just a little bit. I still don't like it. Oh my gosh. This is annoying right here. Maybe if I do that. Still don't like this. So let's do this. Boom. Make it come right under. Oops. Bro. Now let's zoom back out. See what we what it look like now. It still doesn't look good. Ah. 
Ah, well, whatever. Um, still don't like it. We'll stick with this for now. Except for this part. Bring it in a little bit and then bring it back out. Oh, that's too much. Oh, stay on these lines, man. Stay on these lines. Ooh, I smell some editing going on here. So let's get these um calf areas, lower leg looking a little bit better. I think that's decent. All right. So let's come back over here. Touch up some of this. Make them wrinkles wrinkle. I think that's a pretty decent adjustment we've done. Oh. I'm about ready to put a new design on that, in that hoodie pocket. I think I will. On the final one, I'll put a design on the hoodie pocket. Okay, guys, I think we need to move on to the next one. Thank you. Hold on. Let me just finish this out real quick. I don't like the way it looks. I think that's good. Let's uh, copy this layer that we just did. And I want to move on to pose two. And we're gonna paste what we just did into pose two. Remember, we're doing this backwards. Okay. Bring this back down some. made an adjustment oh yeah you know what let's bring the head in too the adjustment of the head that we did let's pose that here so the first thing I'm gonna do is adjust this head now the new head that we do it we did I want to adjust that to fit this new pose we're gonna come in bring it down a little bit because there's a little bit of motion and rhythm that the head has to go with each pose. So that matched up pretty good actually, really easy. So now I can bring back in what we just did, go back to that layer and start erasing things that's not necessary and adjusting the arms. And this is when it all starts to get pretty, pretty easy. So we did the hard part. Oops. Go back, change the anchors placement here. And I'm just gonna shrink it down a little bit because I want the fist to be clear in the animation and I don't want it to run into the jacket. I want the eyes to see it on a separate plane. You know what I mean? Mean. All right. Let's zoom out, see if that arm is too little. Yeah, it got too little real quick. Stick with this, and now I know a placement somewhat. 
I'm not good. Come down in here. Nah, we're gonna come down right into this fold. I mean, right into this bulge right here on the arm. And that'll keep it sticking out our fold. Wow, it's been a while since I've done this. I am super rusty. All right, let's make the same type of adjustment here. Actually, let's bring this arm up as a whole. There we go. Look at that, okay. Deselect that real quick. Zoom out. Do I really have to make that much of adjustment of the hands? Doesn't look like it. Huh, okay. Doesn't look like I need to do much. thing I did with these hands with these pants see if I could get some kind of good result out of it I just leave the um, shoes where they are I mean, if I can I'll just make the adjustment from what I do get the anchor point right to the ball and socket of the hip and let's just that out. Not bad, not bad. Deselect and then do a another selection right here on the lower leg. Adjust it back down by changing the anchor point to the knee. Then bring it down. Pretty close. All right, let's make these adjustments. All right. I'm on now. All right. Now my thumb is acting up again. All this drawing. Must be break time. Yeah, it's almost break time. Usually I take a break every hour. I wonder if we'll make it. We might make it. I might get done before the hour is up. I think it's been about 45 minutes. Just a little bit. Bring this in some more. Boom. Right. Jacket does move a little bit, and it should move more. I will make this jacket move a lot more. 
those are the things I'm thinking about. So you can't, I don't want to really settle on one thing yet. Because if I want to make this jacket move a lot more, it's going to take longer. So I'm going to have to actually take the time to just focus on the jacket. Because if you see this pose right here, this is the middle pose between uh, first and third. I want to actually show that motion of him moving. And the jacket actually helps sell it. Along with the hips and so on and so forth. Let's see what we got here. Um, hmm. I should have zoomed out before I did that. Let me check. I gotta get done. Zoom out. Mm. Keep it straight. We can do that in the details. Now this, hmm, still make an adjustment. Let's go between the two. What the adjustment is. The adjustment here. Only thing I get to see is really this pants leg moving out a little bit. To zoom out a little bit more, see what the adjustment is. Ugh, I don't like the way that leg is so flat. All right, so yeah, I'll fix that leg up there, that thigh, that right thigh. I don't like it. that out just a little bit but make a little bit of an adjustment here Anatomy is so garbage. I've been practicing anatomy, but still garbage right now. Some parts of the body just look nasty. All right. This is me guessing. Only thing is, even if your thighs, let's see, because even with the thighs, it kind of, if the clothes are hanging off a little bit, because they're a little bit loose, got to indicate it, I guess. Let's see.
kind of round it out just a little bit. Put the price there. See if that did anything. No, that did not help me. too much that's something we're gonna have to dig into a little bit later on because that's a problem That's two. Oh my gosh. This knee is nasty. That's what I get for not doing. Let me go back and bring up. There we go. Let's bring up the skeleton because I did a horrible job on that knee. that slide for today just for the oh no i can't do it i'm oh, sorry i sorry i sorry i cannot do it Boy, Pucci, come on now guys this is disgusting the thought was better than that when it first started tampering with it. They're left well enough alone. Okay, that'll do for now, you know? I'm sorry, that's going to do for now. So let's cycle back and forth between two and three. To me, it looks like I'm gonna to have to move that shoulder a little bit more. Okay, so let's go back again, copy both of these two layers, a new uh, head and then sketch, and let's bring in the one. All right, no, we got to do. Turn down one some more. Around there, turn off, no, actually turn off this new sketch of the body. And leave the heads on. And adjust the new head. New head. Bring it forward a little bit.
There we go. Turn off that head. Oh, oh. Thumb is going out. All right, now we got the new one in. Let's do what we did with the last one. Just make the slight adjustments needed. Here. Bring it down some. Baby hands, baby hands, baby hands. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Actually, let's come back and let's select the whole thing. When I say the whole thing, I just mean the whole torso. Cause it all seems like it needs to come down a little bit. Actually, let's get the hip area also. Get all this hip action. Bring it down. All right. Trying to look on par. And instead of just selecting forearm side, select this whole arm, change the anchor, anchor point up to the shoulder, and just bring that back a little bit. And make that adjustment here. And this is gonna have to be on a little bit differently. Bring it back. Hmm. Deselect, erase this stuff, all of that. Just how it goes. The one I didn't want to adjust the most. didn't fit so that looks better I really forgot about this flaw this design flaw because I did it in a previous character where the um, the sleeves they kind of distort the way the arm looks so you can't really tell like like I want you to. The split between the arm. Let's do some random indicators. that jacket. <clears throat> Bring the anchor to the thigh area. I mean hip area. Mm 
Hmm? Was that adjustment? Looking decent. back and bring the pants leg in a little bit. Finish this up. We are at the hour mark and we are finishing this up. Oh yeah, fix the jacket over here. Jacket does play a part on the motion. face up, stop being disrespectful, fix all of this, okay, so, if you're thinking to yourself, why is the face moving over here, it's so that you can show that motion of the hands movement, moving one way and the head moving the other way to give you that feel of um, him adjusting his body weight. <laughs> and also it gives the um, pose a balance, pose more balance. Actually, let me make this adjustment by selecting it and just moving it. Anchor, oops, move that anchor point real quick. All right, good enough. And um, brace this part. Disrespecting his face. Alright. Zooming out. I don't 
know if I like that at all. Let's make this quick fix. kind of look weird uh, mm. Mm. oh finish that off let me bring up the timeline and play the animation real quick Just a little bit more. Um, that works for now. I don't appreciate. Let's turn off some of this stuff. Background stuff. Now let me see the difference between the two motions by turning the onion skin on. Move this down. Let's see. So you got. Let's go back. So blue and green. So let's do green. It's gonna be the next frame. Where's the shoulder? Shoulder is all the way up already. Okay. I think I need to adjust the shoulder on two a little bit. Let's bring that onion skin off. I bring the timeline up. down just a little bit Put that there all I need just a little bit because when you bring that shoulder up. I want to see the difference in bringing that shoulder up. And I might have to do the other side too. Yep. Okay. Let's do three and bring the shoulder down some. Hmm. I'll just keep that motion. Is that you? Oh, now nah, that's why. Move, move, move. Okay, the only thing I really don't like is that leg, the back leg. I don't think I want it to move in the front. It's moving in the front. So, let's start with the first pose. Come down, okay. On your skin on. And back here, I want it to be in the same spot as the blue. So let's 
take the anchor point, move it to the ankle, and now it's in the same spot. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. That way, <clears throat> it just looks like the calf is moving. Do the same thing here. Because if the ankle move, I mean, if the foot move, then it kind of feels like it's not stuck to the ground. All right. I just want to make an adjustment to the head and we done. I feel like the head is just a little bit too low. Right there, you do it. Make up for the adjustment, color and that. Okay. So let's play it. Oh, let's get rid of my, uh, my, um, reference for the player design. All right, so now we see it. This is the final piece for now. So we can go over now, bring up the opacity, and we can go ahead and bring this in to uh, Unity or whatever program you wanna do. So what we're going to do in the next episode, and I think it'll be a lot more shorter because we already got this design done. We already got this sketch done is bring it over into Unity. But before I do, I want you to understand the difference because I've done this before with a game that I was working on. You guys probably seen it, but look at the difference between the two characters. Well, I think um, the previous character design is a little bit bad boy. Fleshing it out and the, the the skill of it, it's not it's not well done. Well, I think this one is the animation is a little bit less smooth. I think that um, I think the drawing overall and the design is better. So that'll be it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope you was able to chill with me. If you lasted this long, thank you. And bless your heart. You know, bless your heart. So, that'll be enough for this episode. And as always, I want you to always animate life.